Hello guys, welcome to my channel. You are watching how to fix stack. In this video, I will show you how you can resolve the issue if your internet is working on phone and not working in laptop. This video is for you. Okay, so without wasting our time, let's begin. The first and the main problem of this issue is driver. So make sure you are using the latest driver and right driver. So how you can identify that? Right click on here start menu and then you will see the option of device manager this option device manager or you can directly search on a search file device manager once you click on device manager look for network adapter this option okay expand this option let me maximize this and right click on your Wi-Fi driver in my case dual band wireless AC this is the driver of my Wi-Fi right click on it and go to its properties then again go to driver here okay and then click on update driver click on update driver since internet is not working on your window this option is not going to help okay click on browse my computer for driver then this one let me pick from a list of available drivers and now choose here the latest driver if you are seeing here multiple options you can choose the option when your system was working fine that driver is suitable on your system so click on next after that and it is installing the driver you need to wait now windows has successfully updated the driver click on close option okay and refresh it okay it should work if updating driver is not working on your windows you need to right click on the driver then click on again properties okay then click on again driver and you can roll back your driver if you have updated your driver after that you are facing the issue of not connecting Wi-Fi then you can simply roll back the driver okay click on roll back the driver and click on ok button okay and if the rollback driver is also not working on your windows you can uninstall the device click on uninstall okay once you click on uninstall you need to restart your system your windows will automatically install the driver for you so you need to restart your system after uninstalling the driver okay make sure you are not choosing the delete one if this option is not working on your windows we can move to the second method in the second method we will release our old IP and get the new IP. Sometimes old IP can cause this as well. So we can release the old IP. Type as CMD. Right click on it and run as administrator. Click on yes button when prompt opens. Once you on a command from you need to type your command IP config space slash release okay and then hit enter once you release the old IP you need to request for a new IP so type up arrow key like this and the same command IP config and this time renew new okay and hit enter after hitting this command you need to type one more command here to clean the all the cache inside your DNS so type here IP config okay space slash okay flush dns dns hit enter now you can see successfully flush the dns resolver cache and exit out from the command and restart your system your all the issue will be fixed with these two commands okay if your issue is fixed then good and still not fixed then move to the third method in third method we will reset our network so how we can reset our network go to here and then type a network 
okay you need to click on this option network status once you click on network status you need to scroll it down and click on network reset okay you need to click on network reset and click on reset now once you click on reset now your all the by default setting will be enabled but make sure you have to re-enter your password if you reset it so make sure you have password then you can retry and reconfigure the network so this is how you can resolve the issue so this is very powerful method of resetting so hope your issue resolved now if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix that